everybody. Welcome to Bar with Mary. We have a glutes and arms class today. So all you're going to need is a set of light weights. I have a set of two pounders. You are more than welcome to go heavier or lighter than me. Two pounds tends to be the sweet spot for me, myself though. I'm going to go ahead and set my weights off to the side and come on to lay on your back where you are. Bend your knees, plant your feet. Let your arms rest at your side. Take a big inhale here, lengthen the spine. And as you exhale, I want you to float right leg and then left leg up to a tabletop position. So the knees are over the hips. And then the feet are going to be a little bit higher than the knees. So you're activating the core here, but we're not getting too deep into any core work. Really just finding that strength to stabilize the pelvis and the rib cage. Now keeping the ribs hugging in and down, I want you to inhale, sweep the arms all the way overhead. And then exhale, bend the elbows, sweep the arms down and draw circles. So little arm circles here, or bigger arm circles really depending on your space. <laughs> but as you move, we're just opening up the chest, opening up the shoulders here, and then asking the abdominals to keep the ribs hugging in and down. Go ahead and reverse your circle. Big inhale. And a big exhale. Beautiful. Last time. Sweep the arms up to the ceiling. Hold them there. I want you to spread your shoulder blades really wide as you reach your fingertips up to the sky and lift your shoulders off the mat. Then on your exhale, you're going to squeeze your shoulder blades together and let the shoulder blades soften down into the mat. So let's inhale, reach the fingertips up. And then exhale, squeeze them down. Two more, inhale, reach. Exhale, soften. Last one, it's reach. Now I want you to hold that softening, just fly the arms open and close to go. Open and close. Now if you want a little bit more abdominals, I want you to press your legs a few inches farther away from you here. As your arms fly, your ribs are hugging in and down. And we're getting that nice opening across the chest. You have four more. Go. Four. Three. Two. Hold the arms open. Big inhale. As you exhale, lower your feet to the mat. Rest your arms down. Drive through the heels. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, roll yourself up to your bridge position. Beautiful. Inhale at the top. Squeeze the glutes. And then exhale one vertebrae at a time. You roll it right back down. Just like that. Roll it up. Squeeze at the top. Then roll it down and soften. Two more times. Exhale, roll. Inhale, squeeze. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lengthen. Last time, roll it up. Squeeze at the top. Now I want you to hold your hips high. Soften your ribs down. and Just drop your left hip and then your right hip. Yes, they drop down and up. Drop down and squeeze. So you're releasing the glutes and then you're activating it back again. We're getting a little twist through the pelvis, a little bit of a twist through the spine, and just a little bit more of a warm up for your glutes before we come into some unilateral work. We'll start by working the right glute today. You have four more to go. Four, three, two, the last one. Hold the squeeze, inhale. Exhale, float the arms up. Soften the shoulders and then maybe squeeze the glutes and lift the hips a little higher without arching into your low back. Hold here for four. Hold here for three. Hold here for two. Roll yourself back down to the mat and flip onto your left side. Press your left forearm down into your mat and then bend your knees. Heels are in line with the hips. And then elbow is underneath the shoulder here. Really press down through the left side body. Grab a weight in the right hand and sweep it up to the sky. Beautiful. Soften through your right shoulder. Now right leg is going to lift to a hover. I want you to flex that right foot and then extend the right leg long. Beautiful. You tap the mat. You squeeze to lift. It's inhale lower and exhale lift. Yes. Now if you'd like to pick up the tempo, let's do it. Go down and lift. It's down and up. So this right arm is just going to stay lifting up to the sky. I want you to soften the right shoulder. And then really notice if you start to grip the shoulder up to the ear as you fatigue here. See if you can keep the length and the space between your right shoulder and your right ear. Four more, go four. Three, two, 
Now you're gonna hold the lift of the right leg, take a little bend in the right knee, take a little bend in the right elbow, and then extend everything straighter. Go, bend, reach, bend, reach, yes, bend, reach, bend, reach, beautiful. Lifting up through the left side body, and really firing up the left side obliques here. Left forearm is pressing down into the mat, and then left shoulder is softening down away from your ear, gorgeous. Feel the ribs hugging in. So you're still really active through the abdominals here, just like you were in your warm up. Go, eight, seven, six, pushing through the right heel for three, two, hold the right leg where it is, inhale. Exhale, lower the right arm just halfway down towards the mat, and then inhale, lift it back up, beautiful. It's exhale, lower for two. And inhale, lift for two, yes. It's exhale, lower. And inhale, lift, two more, go, in, exhale. And inhale, last one goes down. Now I want you to hold this one up. Beautiful, right leg goes a little lift, a little lift, a little lift. Yes, press the right arm back and back and back. Now notice if you're collapsing into your left side body. Really lift up through the left side obliques. We're flipping onto the belly and we're gonna do some tricep work as well as some more glute work in eight. Could you lift your right leg a little higher? You're here for four, three, two, Flip onto the belly, grab your other weight. Now externally rotate your legs here, so you turn your legs out, so that your inner thighs are rotating down towards the mat, and you bring your big toes to the outer edges of your mat. Extend the arms back behind you, letting your weight rest down into your mat. Forehead comes down to the floor, take an inhale. Take an exhale, press your pubic bone into the mat, lift your low belly. Now on your next inhale, I want you to float your torso and your arms up and off the mat. And as you exhale, I want you to lower everything right back down. It's inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. Inhale, up. And exhale, down. Really push down through the big toes. And feel your quadriceps, your thighs, firing up. You're going to feel outer glutes and inner thighs working here. Two more is lift. And lower. Last one goes, lift and lower. Now I want you to lift it up and hold it. Just the arms go up and up and up. Palms are facing the floor here and the weights are gonna to start to feel heavy really quickly. So please know that you can always ditch your weights and make this just body weight work. Relax your shoulders away from your ears and really see if you can hug your ribs in and draw them up towards the ceiling, lifting up to the back side of the rib cage. You're here for eight, six. You're here for four, three, two. Hold the lift of the arms, spin the palms to face the thighs. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, bend the knees and bring the heels together to touch. So you have this nice diamond shape in your legs. Start to squeeze your heels in and in and in. Now as you squeeze your heels, I want you to squeeze your arms in toward midline, go. Squeeze and squeeze and squeeze, yes. Back of the neck is long. So it's almost like I'm gently grabbing the tops of your ears and drawing them forward towards the wall in front of you. Squeeze here for eight, six. Squeeze here for four, three. Hold that squeeze in, everything lifts up and up and up. So the legs and arms are lifting one inch up to the sky. I'm gonna set my weights down. <laughs> I'm gonna take this to body weight work. Please know that you can join me anytime or you can stay with your weights. You're here for eight more, go eight, six. You're here for four, three, two, hold that lift, take a big breath in. As you exhale, you're gonna squeeze your heels and you're gonna draw them a little closer to your seat. Again, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, squeeze your heels, then start to pull the heels in an inch, in an inch, go. It's a little in, a little in. So now heat is building into the hamstrings, the muscles that line the backside of your thighs. So I'm hoping you're feeling a lot of heat into the hamstrings, into the outer glutes, and into the triceps. Beautiful. You're here for four, three, two, hold it, take a big inhale. As you exhale, I want you to extend longer and then lift everything just a little bit higher. Hold it here for four. Hold it here for three. Hold it here for two. Whoo, rest down to the mat. Press your hands into the mat and shift yourself back into a child's pose. 
Big toes come together. Knees open as wide as it feels good for you. And if it feels good to rock the hips or the shoulders from side to side, feel free to do that. Take a big inhale. And as you exhale, you're gonna roll yourself up. You're gonna grab one weight. And you're gonna come onto your right side, pressing your right forearm down into your mat. Bending the knees. Heels stack in line with the hips, beautiful. Left arm extends up to the sky. From here, lift the left leg up to a hover, and then extend the left leg long, full range, it taps the mat. You lift it up, it's inhale lower, and exhale lift, pick up the tempo, down and up, go lower, and lift, beautiful. So left shoulder is gonna be working here, softening away from the left ear, keeping the weight strong, stacked over the shoulder, beautiful. Right forearm is pressing into the mat. And I want you to almost feel like you're dragging your right elbow back towards your right hip bone. And you'll feel lots of heat into the right side obliques. Keep that heat, keep the lift of the right side obliques. Four more, go for it. Three, two, hold the lift. It's a little bend in the elbow and the knee. And it's a big stretch. Pick it up, go bend, reach, bend, reach, bend, reach. Yes, bend, reach, beautiful. Now really extend out through your left heel here. So you're squeezing the outer left glutes, but you're absolutely squeezing into the left quadriceps as well. Yes, left shoulder continues to soften away from your ear. And then you're pressing down through the right forearm. Eight more times, go eight, six, you're here for four, three, left leg stays, take a big breath in. As you exhale, left arm lowers halfway down to the mat, and then you inhale, sweep it right back over your shoulder. It's exhale, lower, and inhale, lift, beautiful. Now notice here, if this top of left hip is starting to spiral open towards the ceiling. Keep it pointing right toward me, two more, exhale, you lower. Inhale, you lift, the last one lower. You're gonna hold that lift. It's a little lift with your left leg up and up. Now option, press your left arm back and back and back, beautiful. Now from here, we're gonna come onto our seats. And we're gonna take a little series on our hands. If you know you have wrist sensitivity, I encourage you to roll your mat up so you have a little bit more cushion. But first, finish strong here with eight more eights. Could you get your left leg a little straighter? You're here for four, three, Two, set that weight down off to the side. Come on to your seat. Take your hands back behind you and then plant your feet. Now I want you to take a big inhale. As you exhale, you're gonna drive through your heels and you're gonna lift your seat up, coming to a reverse tabletop position. Now at the top here, I want you to press the mat away, really softening the shoulders down and then squeeze the glutes as you hug your ribs in and down. It's inhale, tap. And exhale, lift, yes. Inhale, tap. Exhale, lift. As you lift, drive your heels down into the mat. And then almost imagine dragging your heels back towards you. So you really fire up the hamstrings. Two more, inhale. And exhale, last one goes up. Down the right up, <laughs> there it is, hold the up. <laughs> Lower the seat just halfway. Shift the weight back slightly, and then lift your left leg up to the sky. Yes, it's a tricep dip and press, go down and up. Now if the left leg straight to the sky is too much for your hamstrings, bend that left knee. It's totally fine. Elbow tips are hugging in towards one another as you bend and stretch, go, bend, and stretch, four more, go, four, three, two, now I want you to hold the bend in the elbows, lower the left leg halfway, pull the left knee into the chest, stretch to the sky, yes, like that, it's inhale, lower, exhale, lift it up, two more, inhale, lower, inhale, lift it up, two, last one, pull it in, hold up, lower it halfway, hold it there, Lift the seat just one inch. It's lift and lift and lift. Yes, now if your elbows are bent, 
squeeze them in towards each other and soften through your shoulders. Eight, six, you're here for a four, three, two, lower your seat, plant both feet, lay all the way back on your back, grab your weights, extend the weights up to the sky, soften your shoulders, take an inhale, exhale, push through the heels, squeeze the glutes, roll yourself up into a low bridge. From here, I want you to squeeze the weights. Now take a breath in. As you exhale, I want you to tap your seat down to the mat. Then inhale, let the arms fly, squeeze the glutes and press the hips up. You fall just like that. It's tap and lift, go down and up. Your arms close and open, beautiful. Now if this is too much coordination, you can always ditch the arms and just take a full range with the glutes. Even though you are working, essentially your whole body here, <laughs> try to stay as soft as you can in your face, in your neck, in your shoulders. Yes, go, four, three, two. I want you to hold this one on the up. Yes, go, a little lift with the seat, a little up, a little up. Now add the arms, it's a little press, a little press, a little press, beautiful. Driving down through the heels, softening the ribs in and down towards the mat. Go eight, six, you're here for four, three, two, hold it. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead. Reaching them up towards the ceiling, soften the shoulders. Yes. Now from here, you're going to bend the elbows in half, extend them up. Again, it's inhale, bend. And exhale, reach. Now as you bend the elbows, lift the heels. And as you extend, you lower the heels. It's bend and lift. Extend and lower, pick it up, go up and down, yes. So hips are stable here. You're not letting them rock from side to side. The core is really strong, holding your pelvis in place. Now again, this is a lot of coordination, if it's too much. You can always ditch one of the two things. Four more, go four. Three, two, I want you to hold the lift of the heels, hold the bend in the elbows and breathe. Now from here, just lift your pinky fingers up an inch, up an inch, up an inch, add the hips, go, it's lift and lift and lift. Elbows squeeze in towards each other. Shoulders are soft. We're coming back up onto our seat so we can take those tricep dips with the opposite leg lifted in eight, seven, six. Yes, you're here for four, three, two, lower the hips, set the weights off to the side and roll yourself up to a seated position. Plant the feet, hands come behind you, push through the heels, inhale, exhale, lift the seat, softening the shoulders, coming to a reverse tabletop. Yes, it's inhale, tap. And exhale, lift. Inhale, down. Exhale, press. Now, as you lift the hips, I want you to send the shin bones forward so that the knees come to stack over the ankle joints. Yes. You squeeze the glutes and drive down through the heels. Four more. Inhale. And exhale. Yes, three more. It's tough. And lift. Beautiful. Softening the shoulders. Pressing the hands into the mat. Last one. You're going to hold this lift. Let the seat lower halfway. Shift the weight back slightly. And then right knee pulls the chest. Right leg up to the ceiling. Tricep dip and press. Go down and up. Yes, again. If hamstrings don't allow a straight leg, just bend the right knee. You're still getting that work into the left glute and into the triceps. Yes. Eight. Seven. Six, really press into the mat here. Soften the shoulders. Squeeze that right glute. Yes. Last one. Now maybe bend the arms halfway. Lower the right leg halfway down to the mat. Pull the right knee in and press it up. Yes. It's inhale lower. Exhale, extend it up. Inhale down. And exhale up. Last one, it's inhale down. And exhale up, now lower halfway down. Lift that right hip. The left glute goes a little up, little down, little up, little down. Yes, 
Just a final hold for classes on deck. I'm hoping you're feeling a lot of heat into your triceps. Into your glutes, you're here for eight. Your hold is in six. Your hold is in four. Three, two, lower that right leg all the way down to the mat. Extend the left leg out to meet it. From here, lift high all the way into your reverse plank. Squeeze the glutes. Soften the shoulders and wrap the ribcage in and down. Beautiful. Back of the neck is long. Yes, you can. Just a hold. Squeezing glutes. You're here for four. Three. Lift higher. Two. Ooh, lower the seat down to the mat. Sweep that fingertips up to the sky. Inhale. And then exhale. Hinge it forward into a forward fold. Feel free to bend the knees as much or as little as it feels good for you here. Amazing work. Take a big inhale and a big exhale. One more time, inhale. Exhale. Release the feet, gently roll yourself up to seated. Bend the knees, planting the feet on the outer edges of the mat. Hands are gonna come behind you and just windshield up your legs from side to side. Stopping at any point that it feels good or if it feels tight. Just releasing through the glutes, through the hips. One more time, big inhale. Big exhale. Maybe back at center, find any comfortable seated position. Inhale, sweep the fingertips high. Right hand to the right shoulder, grab a hold of the elbow. Head is gonna press back as you take a nice pull, releasing to that right tricep. If a side bend feels good for you, go ahead and go for it. Hmm. Big breath in and a big breath out. One more time, inhale. Exhale, back to center, reach the fingertips high, left hand to the back. Grab a hold of that elbow, head presses back to the forearm, and then you can stay right here, or if a side bend feels good, use your inhale to take that big side bend. Soften your left shoulder. Soften your rib cage. Take a big inhale, and a big exhale. One more time, inhale. Exhale, come back to center. Release the arms and all together. Inhale, sweep the fingertips high. Exhale, let it go. And that is your bar class for today. Amazing work. That class was a lot of compound movements. It was a lot packed into a short period of time. Um, I will be back next week with a brand new bar class, and I will see you then back here on the mat. Have a great day.